Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher, everybody. Praise the higher. One more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen, amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann and Yesaya the Christ. Yesaya the Messiah, Yesaya of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God the higher. And the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesaya. I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is the name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth all over. In the diaspora, I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming King, Yesiah the Christ, and to the beautiful body of Christ, the church, whom our great King is coming back for without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I greet you all in his glorious name, Yesiah the Christ. All right, you can skip this bit and find the main message. I am going to do some housekeeping. Remember my name, Sister Carrie Ann. It is in solid gray border with a tick by the side of my name. Anybody else pretending to be me is a wicked, dirty demon. You need to rebuke and report them. Please watch a video to the end. Sometime I do the sinner's prayer if, if, I, if I've got the time. If not, check the description box. If you are unsaved, if you do not know Yesiah, hallelujah, as the Lord and Savior, please check the description box or I leave a little sinner's prayer. You can repeat it. And believe and call on the name of Yesiah the Christ. Some people call him Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's fine. I call him Yesiah. I call him by Hebrew, by his Hebrew name. Call on his name and you shall be saved. Hallelujah. And give your heart and walk right before the king. All right. Um. Uh, thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for sharing the video. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for going in the comment sections and communicating with brothers and sisters. Really, really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so very, very much, brothers and sisters, for that. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Um, those of you who are brand new to the channel, I welcome you. I pray that this will be the channel of the prophetic for you brothers and sisters just hold on one second hold on yes i pray that this channel will be the channel of the prophetic for you where we will grow hallelujah we will grow together in the in prophecies um and know what is going on what the most high is saying to the church hallelujah all right uh thank you for those beautiful beloveds in the most uh, higher who have blessed me through paypal really 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 appreciate it um a beautiful beloved contacted me this morning says it's a Korean um your paper look at your paper I think something you were wrong with it and I went and I checked and I fixed it so my paper is up and running it's absolutely fine um so if you want to bless me through that you can go ahead and do so if not I still love you just the same and everything is okay all right also I have a little project in the form of um go fund me I will leave the link in the description box in the pin comment section have a little read if you your heart tells you um to bless then do it if not again you know prophecies on this this channel is not money orientated brothers and sisters whether you give or not you will still get the prophecies it's just that's it because i work for the savior and um, some people will say to me oh sister karen so why do you ask it's not that i'm asking is that that it's just that i get email from time to time where some brothers and sisters over the years this is just this is not a one-off over the years and they say sister karen we would like to bless you can we have your paypal can we have this can we have that so that's the case i just put it in the description box so those who want to give just search the description box or the pin comment sections all right so that's what it is brothers and sisters all right we are near we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful glorious messiah Yeshua the christ but we're also near to the revealing of the lawless one the dirty antichrist please understand daniel chapter 7 verse 25 will be fulfilled where satan through the antichrist will seek to change times laws and seasons it will be given to him and also brothers and sisters yes i says pray to be found worthy i believe he's talking about the woman in revelation 12 with the 12 stars in her head the 12 stars on the woman's head represents the 12 seed of jacob the sons of jacob the remnant of jacob that went through the transatlantic slavery that is the reason why you see the woman fleeing with the 12 stars because there is going to be a 
second worldwide exodus. Just like Moses' first exodus, but it is going to be on a much larger scale because the highest people, the 12 scattered tribe, are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth through the transatlantic slavery. And the most that high is going to regather that remnant. People say to me, Sister Carrie Ann, I don't believe you because in 1948, they said God went down into Europe and told the Europeans to go back to their homeland, Israel. That is not true. It is not biblical because for, for starters, Europeans are from the Caucasus mountain. That is why they're called Caucasians. Anyone that is called Caucasian is from the Caucasus mountain. This is research. You can go and check it out. It is truth. All right. So to say that, you know, God is going to bring these people back to their homeland. That is not true. So we know that the 12 tribe of Yeshahel, the 12 tribe of Jacob, amen, that has been hurt, harmed, scattered, dispersed throughout the four corners of, four corners of the earth, a higher is going to regather them through the great worldwide second exodus that is who the woman represents after the second exodus then the sixth seal opens that is Yesiah hallelujah coming in the clouds of glory people said Jesus is coming any day any minute no not true second exodus must it has to happen first without the second exodus Bible I don't know who is that standing up there because I ain't going with him or whosoever it may be the second exodus must the woman in revelation 12 must flee she must flee she must flee into the wilderness brothers and sisters i'm telling you so you know you have to understand scriptures and understand bible understand the end times and where we are so that you, you don't get deceived and you can fit things appropriately so right after our second exodus six seal opens up um prophetic theme song so prophetic banner is called we are near because we are near it's not only a slogan we are near brothers and sisters and the prophetic theme song is called we are near and the song goes like this how now you are on now you are on now you are on now oh now you are on now you are Oh, now you are, oh, now. Hallelujah. Yes, we are near, and we can sing that song with right confidence. All right, I have two ministries one for the end time prophetic, and one for the Hebrew Yasha Helai Barry. All right, so Barry is his name, that's his real name, really. Barry, so Sarato, so whatever. But, anyways, brothers and sisters, so during the time of the United States 2020 presidential election, and when Biden was running, and the Lord was giving me the visions and the revelation concerning how this thing is going to play out, I've always said it, I've always said it from day one that Joe Biden will be an extension of Barack Obama's policies or basically carrying out, sorry, basically carrying out Barry's job. And he is. It doesn't, you know, that that's 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 Biden's homework, really. Call it that it's, that's his homework for him to fulfill and finish um what Barry has started. Or not even to finish, but to carry on until Barry comes back. And that's always been the plan. Because in the vision, if you haven't seen that vision, brothers and sisters, I'm going to link it. I will link the playlist as well. But I will link that very, very powerful vision. If those of you who have not seen that vision where I prophesied that Joe Biden will win the 2020 presidential election. And it came to pass. But equally in the vision, it wasn't him. It was Barry. Barry was in the background getting all the honor and all the praise and all of that. You need to watch this very, very prophetic vision. It's very, very powerful. So I'm going to leave it link. And I will also leave the playlist um, link as well so you can watch that. But why am I here? Why am I saying this, brothers and sisters? Now, <clears throat> like I say, I always give thanks for my beautiful brothers and sisters because you see when people not people sorry when brothers and sisters pay attention to what i say they always email me and say sister Karen, this is what you said it is coming to pass because i, I don't have the time to scour the internet and to go around and i don't do that 
I literally don't do that. And the brothers and sisters who send me things, they know that it's the truth. So a beloved sent me in my Facebook. Um, let me see the date on it. So this was an interview on the 3rd of June, 2021, with Obama and, some, and the New York Post or something like that. I only picked up the email today. Today is what, the 9th or the 10th or something like that? The 9th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 9th or 10th? Forgive me, I always get my dates wrong. But today, I picked up this email that this beloved sent to me. So I open it, I open it, open it up. And it's from the New York Post. And this is the headline that it says. You ready for it? Biden, okay, it says... Let's keep on flipping, flipping across this thing. Sorry, brothers and sisters. Right. It says, Biden is finishing the job of his presidency. This is Obama, a.k.a. Barry. Do you hear what I said, brothers and sisters? The vision doesn't lie. <laughs> Lord of mercy, God. If only the people don't despise the time that some of you on YouTube are making videos calling me false prophets, prophetess, calling me every single name under the sun. You really need to listen and understand what the Lord is saying. Sorry, the camera just shaked. Some of you need to listen, understand what the Lord is saying on this channel. Because this channel is the truth. And when the Lord speaks, it always confirms. But the problem is some of you want the vision when Karen, when Sister Karen comes and give a vision, you want it to happen tomorrow. And if it doesn't happen tomorrow, she's a false prophetess. But I'm going to read something to you in a bit, all right? But watch this. This is an interview, all right, that Barry did. And the title of the interview, oh, I'm looking at his picture. I'm telling you, this man is a, is a biblical antichrist. I'm not going to delete it when I finish off my son's thingy um, son's um ipad but the, the title says biden is finishing the job of his presidency this is obama aka barry's presidency the vision is not lying watch the video watch the pin prophetic video of joe biden winning the 2020 presidential election and see what the lord says it's not only bad and winning, there's lots of things in it that's been revealed. Because it's not really Biden that won. It is Barry. I am telling you, brothers and sisters, the vision is true. And now the Lord is confirming and saying, look, this is what I've been saying to the people. If they have ears to hear and eyes to see that Biden is running for um, Barry. It's just because of the, the two B's are in tongue twisting me it's just because <clears throat> sorry barry is not physically in the white house yet 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 he's not there yet but he will be there he's coming back do you believe that do you believe brothers and sisters look at the levels check the levels all right do you believe that joe biden can have a third term because is it because that's really what it is He's been the VP for two years plus the president. The president, So that's three. That's three terms in the White House. So do you really believe that Barry, who helped Biden to win the election, having third term and he, Barry, don't have a third term? Brothers and sisters, wake up wake up is right in your face of course obama is gonna have a third barry's gonna have a third term he will 100 percent, 150 percent. and when he comes back some of you who have been calling me false prophetess and on carrying on it's going to be too late because the prophecies have, have already been given it's just that you didn't take time out to listen to what this channel is saying but anyways, let's continue, brothers and sisters, because the Lord doesn't lie. Watch this. So that's a big, massive heading on the New York Post. Biden is finishing the, the job of his presidency, which is Barry's presidency. Its reason says, former President Barry told 
Ezra Kling or somebody like that, that Joe Biden and the, oh look how me tear my thing man, that Joe Biden, tear my stuff, oh lord, that Joe Biden, um, Joe Biden, sorry, former President Barry, former President Barry told Ezra Kling that Joe and the administration are essentially finishing the job. What job? What job is Joe Biden finishing? Of course, it's a job of Barry's whatever policies and guidelines or whatever, you know, he had before he left office temporarily. So no, no, so now Joe Biden is carrying out or is finishing off what Barry has started. But he's not going to finish it because Barry's going to come back. Former president, former president Barry, okay, former president Barry believes President Biden is finishing the job of his administration, he revealed in a new interview. The Lord doesn't lie. If you know your Bibles, brothers and sisters, Father don't reveal and Father don't do anything in the earth unless he reveals it to his people, to his prophets and his prophetesses and his servant. And all the videos are there and I've been saying it from time. You see, Barry has to come and tell you what's going to happen and what he's going to do, just like the alien disclosure. He had to do that interview and say, there will be an alien disclosure. And when it comes, they're going to come with a new religion. Barry had to say that in the interview because they have to tell you what's going on. So Barry's telling you, look, bad news in the White House. He's finishing off what I've started. It's always been him. That's why you need to watch the prophetic vision. The Lord showed me very, very clearly. Yes. It, the Lord showed me um, Joe Biden winning the election because obviously his name that's on the ballot. But it wasn't him that was getting the praises. It was Barry in the background that was running the show. And I came out, I gave the prophecy, but I was slated by the Trump supporters. Absolutely slated on the channel by them. All sorts of names. I'm Satan. I'm the devil. I'm fake. I don't hear from God. Well, there you go. Barry's telling you that basically he's coming back. In a nutshell. There's absolutely no way Joe Biden is going to do three, three terms and his mate, Obama, or Barry only do two. It's not going to happen. We talk about the ten kings. Or the, sorry, the seven kings. I'm not going to go over that. All right. Revelation 17 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Revelation 17 and verse 10. I've done loads of videos on that. I'm not going to go over it. I'm going to link the playlist to me Antichrist. Um, I'm going to link the Antichrist, the biblical Antichrist playlist. You can watch at your leisure. But equally, I'm going to link. You need to watch this to understand this video. I'm going to link the prophetic vision for those of you who have not seen the prophetic vision where the Lord said Joe Biden will win the 2020 election. But watch it because it's Barry that's going to run the show. It's a very uh, um, powerful vision. Watch it, brothers and sisters. Please watch it. And you will understand the times and the season that we're in. Do not be deceived. We've got no time now to be deceived. So the prophecy is true. The prophecy is true. The Lord doesn't lie. I'm going to show you something. And this is why a lot of people come on this channel. And I thank God for other brothers and sisters who stay by my side. You know who you are. I give God thanks for you. Because when everybody's slatering me off and said, oh, she's fake, she's false, she's of the devil. Some of you brothers and sisters really have my back. And I, pre I, want, you, I want you to know that I appreciate it. It's like we're, we're all on the battlefield, isn't it? You've got to think about it like this. 
we're all on the battlefield and sometimes some of us get wounded and when we're wounded you know we might be far out because we're fighting you know because we take up that mantle <clears throat> sorry because we take a we have taken up that mantle and sometimes a soldier spiritually i'm talking sometimes will some some of us will say look i'll go in front i'll go in front and i'll do what i can to disarm the enemy but sometimes when you do that you do get a, bit, a little bit injury injury a little bit of injury happen but you're so far away that when your brothers and sisters are when you know spiritually i'm speaking that when your brothers and sisters look you're so far away some of them can't even reach you but there are few who are, will risk their life to say you know what no we're gonna go for her we're going to cover her. She's injured. She's far out in the battlefield. But we're going. We're going in. Hallelujah. We're going in. And some of you brothers and sisters are like that. With this channel. You, you have my back. And I appreciate it. But anyways. So this is what I want to read to the, the doubters. And to those who say that I'm false. That I've got an evil spirit. And that I'm hearing from the devil. All right. And for those brothers and sisters who believe those people speak ill of this channel. This is what the Bible says concerning prophetic. This is what the Bible says concerning prophecy. Watch this. This is Habakkuk. Okay. This is Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3. That's Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3. The Bible reads, For the vision is yet... For an appointed time. So let me just stop there one minute. I think when I give prophetic visions, a lot of brothers and sisters that like the three days of darkness or Obama coming back, Barry coming back into power, a lot of brothers and sisters will say, Oh, Sister Karen, you said Obama is coming back. When is he coming? It hasn't come to pass, so you're fake. But the vision is for an appointed time. Or they'll say to me, Oh, you said about the three days of darkness is going to happen. It didn't happen. When is it going to happen? You're fake. You're false. It didn't happen. And that's, this is how they operate in the spirit of doubt. And the soul of doubt and confusion. But the Bible said it's for an appointed time. It is The visions are for an appoint, appoint. Do you know what it means by an appointed time? So the Lord will give a vision and you cannot force it to happen. It doesn't matter how. It does not matter how much you cheer, you mocked, and you laughed at the person that's given the vision from the Lord. That person cannot make it happen any faster. They cannot go on their knee because they feel bad and say, Oh God, please let that vision happen. They're mocking me. No, <laughs> it's not going to happen before the appointed time. And it's just like Job. Sorry, like, like Noah. Noah preached for over a hundred years. Can you imagine that? Saying, look. The rain is coming, but the mock. Oh, no, every day you said the rain is coming. There's no rain. And now I say, look, it's going to come. And I'm saying all these prophetic visions that I'm giving, they're going to happen. The three days of darkness, that will happen. Obama will come back, right? And there's another one that people are saying, oh, she's fake. She's false. She said that Donald Trump will be taken out. But if you go back and you watch the video, you notice that video that I did. That I said I saw a headline coming through. And it says Donald Trump have been assassinated. It didn't say President Donald Trump. Think about that. Anyways, watch this. The vision. So the Lord says. And the Lord. And sorry. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end. It shall speak. Which means it shall come to pass. At the end. All these vision, All these um, warning about the man-made pestilence. And all the Turner's events. That is going to happen. All these end time prophetic. It is for an appointed time. And at the end it will speak. The vision will speak for itself. All these visions. These prophetic visions that I'm having. It will speak for itself. Amen. So. But at the end it shall speak. And not lie. That's why I have so much peace. There's so much peace in my heart. That's why I can come on YouTube confidently and give and speak what thus said the Lord, regardless of the destruction that's going on in the background. 
Because I know what the Lord is saying. Because the vision will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And this is where we are in the prophetic. And I think that with my brothers and sisters, how I'm going to call it now? Takeaway. You know, takeaway is very, very quick, isn't it? You know, you go to your McDonald's or your KFC, it's already waiting, it's already there. You just drive through or you go drive through through or you go in and you are then you get your food. And some people's and some people are like that because they're so used to false and fake prophets giving prophecy and it just come through the next day. But where do they get that prophecy from? And this is what people are so used to. They're so used to all these prophets coming and say this, that. And within a day, within a couple of hours, the thing comes to pass. But the Lord is saying that, and I'm not saying that, you know, God cannot let things come to pass within a few minutes. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying that people are so used to the takeaways. For the, to, for the, the, so they're so used to the, the, they're so used to the quick prophecy, the quick prophetic that when the Lord gives a prophecy through his servant and it's taking ages. It's like, oh, it's too long. So they get fed up and they begin to murmur and they begin to complain and they begin to throw insults and they begin to call it, begin to call you all sorts of name. But the Bible is saying, though the vision tarry, it will come to pass. It will come to pass. So, you know, just be patient. And, it, you know, sometimes we, sh we should be glad that the visions are tarrying because it gives us more time to prepare. Amen. It gives us more time to prepare and seek the Lord. So it's not a bad thing, really. It's not a bad thing. But, yes, brothers and sisters, so the vision is true. Joe Biden is running things for Barry until he comes back. All right. So be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Yah, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the Most High Yah, who lives above the heavens. Yah eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory, in Jesus Christ's precious holy name. Amen. <clears throat> and amen. Amen. Okay, brothers and sisters, so we're going to turn our Bibles to Jude chapter 1. That's Jude chapter 1. We are agreeing with what Brother Drew says in this benediction that we're going to say. All right. Um, beautiful benediction about our great uncreated God. So Jude chapter 1, verse 24 to 25. The Bible read. Please read with, read with me, brothers and sisters. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. And to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen. <clears throat>